Fighter pilots will tell you flying is an adrenaline rush, but is it also a health risk? Anecdotal evidence suggests flying in jets leads to more incidents of cancer. The rates are significantly higher amongst aviators. Uh, we don't know why. Mike Crosby is a retired Navy pilot who was stationed at Oceana twice in his career. He's had prostate cancer and is the founder of Veterans Prostate Cancer Awareness, Inc. All of us in the veterans community or population are exposed to a, a numerous, a, a number of things, much more so, I think, than the general population. And now Congresswoman Elaine Luria is calling for more facts. She wants Congress to pass a bill to get the Department of Defense to really take a look at the numbers. As a 20-year Navy veteran, I'm concerned by the alarming anecdotal evidence provided by former Air Force and Navy pilots. Luria says this study will cover all branches of the military, including the Navy, so they can try and figure out what's really going on. The news organization McClatchy has reported on an Air Force study which found pilots are exposed to more radiation. And data shows the number of veterans with prostate cancer in the VA health system has risen by about 16% in the last 20 years. Crosby thinks Luria's proposed study is a good start, but finding the causes of cancer is going to take time. While all of that is sorted out, he wants to raise awareness about the issue of prostate cancer. We don't talk about it enough and we need to raise awareness because the, what happens is if you get tested early enough in the disease cycle, um, it's curable. But if you wait too long, the results can be tough, as more facts could help veterans get the treatment they may need.